What's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm glad to be back. Dive in, even though the conditions don't always cooperate with us. Um, you know, sometimes it's just like that where you only get one day to dive on the weekend or even in the week. So you gotta make do, you know, make the best of the conditions that you got and just get out there. Because you never know until you go. You really never know until you go. Uh, <laughs> what I do know is it's probably gonna be murky today. But I'm heading down to the harbor. I made up with Captain Mo. Mo, I think Mo's boat today. Um, Joe and Jensen. So yeah, hopefully, you know, we're just looking for some clean water today. Good time with the boys, and that's about it. <laughs> so I'll give us a thumbs up for good luck, and see you in the water. Shoot. As expected, everywhere was pretty much murky. Um, we did find a semi-clean spot, so we figured out we'd jump in, give it a sh give it a shot. It's pretty shallow over here. Um, so after a bunch of swimming around, I see like one to all in this group of koalus. You see, I'm trying to picking it out from the crowd. They're pretty tame today, for the most part. Able to line up and get a nice stone shot. First shot of the day on this Tawal stone. Had some small piles of fish here and there. Um, nothing crazy though, nothing, at least for me, that I've seen um, for that day. So uh, here I am taking a drop on a uh, Munu. And again, I'm just calm, comes right in, gives me another stone shot right there real easy real fish are super calm and tame in the morning after that i kind of ran through like this little towel house um or towel piles the grounds are pretty similar to where we were a couple weeks ago so i figure you know if i don't see much around uh, i'm just gonna start you know shooting some towels at least i can you know, fresh and fish, and at the same time, Tawau is an invasive species. So every chance I get to take out an invasive species, you know, I'll go ahead and pull trigger on it. So the Tawau's are kind of hanging a little far away. It's a little dusty, you can see. It kind of got dirtier as the day went on. And one comes in. I shoot it, and it runs right in the hole. Uh, Decided to just, you know, kind of go down and try to just secure it real quick before it damages all my mono on my shooting line. So, yeah. I'm trying to work it, trying to get them out. And then secured it. I actually seen an Alaihi right before I took the shot on this wall, so I knew there was a round. I put that towel on the stringer, took another drop, and had a little bit more life over here. So I kind of wait uh, and try to look around to see if you know anything else is in the area, maybe something passing by. And I figure, you know, if you know I don't see anything, then I can always shoot a towel before I go up. So one towel came in close already, and now they're kind of just hanging out in front of me, and that's when I'm kind of just looking at them already. Just line up, take another stone shot. So I'm using my Cap 110. I've been getting real comfortable with this gun. I'm really starting to get used to it. And right now, it's my favorite gun to use. I guess so too, because it's shallower. And I'm going to surf, wind and surge. Um, having the Cap is super solid to use right now. So I've seen a big Pananu. I ran through here, but yep, <laughs> distracted by this Alihi. So I'm trying to do real slow movements, you know, but this Alihi is kind of just going crazy, he's all over the place. So I knew when he popped out again, I just had to take a quick shot and secure him. For those of you who don't know um, or haven't seen one of my previous episodes that I shot an Alihi, they have these barbs right by the gills. That's why I see I'm kind of nervous to grab it. Um, you know, make sure you got a sharp knife and you can do something like this. Just stab it and then dig the knife in. 
to brain it. That way you're not touching it right away. You weaken the fish and then you'll be able to handle it a lot better, a lot easier. So these are our knives. We only have a few left, guys. So go get them on the website. Also, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, it's $2.99 a month. But you'll automatically get a 15% off discount code for the entire website. So that is a killer deal. Make sure you go on the, our YouTube channel right now. Hit join and subscribe to our YouTube channel just for that perk. I mean, it, it already pays back itself. As you can see, the water is getting a lot dustier. It's getting a lot dirty. It's hard for me to make out all the fish that's in front of me. It's a huge school of poilus. There are some woohoos with it. Um, I could have sworn I seen like a a yellow yellow spot papillo. And it's so hard in the murk to just you know it's all silhouettes swimming around. I can't even stay focused on you know my mind's playing tricks on me on the fish I see. So since I thought I seen um, a yellow spot, I figured I'd throw a flasher, throw a cra um, crack pipe, and just to see if they'll they'll come in. So when I took a drop where I threw the throw flasher, I noticed a bunch of towels over here, like infested just with towels. And I didn't really see much game either. Um, so, you know, if I, didn't, I didn't really see anything. I just grabbed my flasher and then try to take another drop on a towel. Yeah, I mean, it was a just a reef dive that you know we just want to get out shoot some fish um i love shooting towels man uh, obviously the last couple weeks that's all i've been shooting i mean that's all i've been seeing so you know it's either i don't put trigger all day or you know i, I dedicate the day to you know just shoot some towels so yeah i'm at the bottom kind of looking around bunch of towels coming by me I start slowly creeping up on them and stone them smooth like butter after that I kind of decided to just get my three prong already and you know just try bang a bunch of towels um, had some alihis had some empatis in the area I'm creeping up on this crack you see my I just threw my shaft down <laughs> I didn't even bother like putting it back on the gun I was like I'm just gonna grab my three prong and you know, try to do some damage so I was waiting for all the twelves to kinda of come in front of me but they kinda of stayed away. So I peek under this overhang and shoot this super nice size Mipachi. But at the same time I stick my knee deep in a piece of Vana or sea urchins. And I'm trying to pick it out. It penetrated all the way through the wetsuit. Vana is super sharp and then it, of course you know it started to burn. Um, but you know, I have to go use the bastion after my wetsuit felt okay after. So, so after I landed at Mampachi, took out all this, the pieces of Vana out of my knee, took a drop. Um, same area, you can see there's just choke Vana here, so now I'm just trying to maneuver a little better. But we're using a 9 foot evolved 3 prong. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. And here I am lining up on a towel. I hit him, he rips off, and I was like, oh, God. you know, I try to go down and recover him. I look up and there's just a little white tip shark kind of cruising around in the area. And I was like, well, that's probably gonna be a bum trip already. He did swim off, and I took another drop, and he came back. So I was like, you know, I'm not gonna mess around, you know, trying to sh three prong fish right around this shark area. I don't wanna get him all riled up. You know, looking for blood. What's up, everybody? Just taking a break. Kind of hot, kind of windy today. Conditions kind of bust. Started getting really dirty out there. Uh, I changed spots. A little bit deeper water, about 40 feet. Took a couple drops. Never really see much. See Jensen right now taking a drop. Uh, here, just take a break, rehydrate. I don't know what else the plans are for the day, but. We'll just do some bottom fishing, send some live bait out right now, so maybe get lucky. Try shot out those um, fried fish, and then uh, Joel really did pretty good pound today. From Pao Pao, uh, Bar Jack, Omilu. Uh, 
but yeah, hopefully we get another chance for getting some clean water. There wasn't really anything in that deeper spot. We just went there because it was clean. Um, we checked around, did some scouting. It was all murk, so we did some trolling. One line back, had a couple of trulies. We just chilling or anything. Screamer. We did some bottom fishing, seen some marks, and then we got on the screamers. What are you using, Jake? Yeah. Oh, nice size uh, oh, wait, I mean, of course, I Joe's line. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, buddy. Oh, nice Ooh. size. Thanks, Tony. I can take that one. Yeah, I'll take that one. We scored a bonus uku on the jig, and we did a couple more drops in that area. Nothing would bite, so uh, we just kept it moving, trying to line back out. Crack a couple more, maybe get lucky on the way. And we did, we found some rubbish. Drive the boat a little bit, there's four my mine. Drive the boat in a circle. There's four my mine. There's drive, they like the sound of the boat, it's following you. So I seen the four, the four my mines, and then um, I couldn't get a shot on them, so I one of the boys, you know, you guys, when you guys come jump in, because you get, get fish around, yeah? So I had Jensen kind of on my right, I told him, come to me, because I had the Mai Mai's, and then I, I kind of went push it, the fish towards him, and I went stop. I was trying to forget him on video, Jensen lining up, but when I, when I looked up, he already had him on, I was like, yeah. He had a great shot right in the head, and then he was like, bruh, you know, we'll keep him on, we'll, we'll get one more. I was like, hey, Raja. So, yeah, he's a Mai Mai. The other has, so I actually had five Mai Mai. And it, the other four stuck around. I took a kind of deeper drop to get underneath them. And I'm lining up. And boom, stoned him. He just sunk straight to the bottom. And we're like, yeah, bro, we're stoked how this day went. We're a little bit buzzing, but, you know, we got two Mai Mai's. So Jensen was going, kind of going crazy. He, he actually almost lost it. He was ripping plenty of meat. Um, so he just went bear hug him, and I just went brain it for him. I mean, it's probably not the smartest thing to do, but <laughs> he should, you know, you should, you should brain it, yeah. Because I don't want nothing to slip. I don't like stab my friend. So. But we ended up, you know, being all right. Stoked for Jensen. First my my was able to be there in that moment with him, put him on. And now time for landmine. Yeah man, he was lifeless. Limp. He was bleeding out the gills already. Um, I grabbed my shaft and he's gone. Like, gone, gone. <laughs> yeah, I tried to chase him down, but... Yeah, I tried chasing him down. Couldn't find him. Probably gonna belly up somewhere. I was bleeding out the gills. Kind of don't know what happened. The flopper was engaged when it popped out, but that's where it goes sometimes. Either way, man, I was I was beyond stoked to find out that that was Jensen's first Mai Mai, and how the day turned out was just good enough for me. Alright. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Alright guys, like, subscribe, and join us on the next adventure. Shoot!